Previously on The Man Show. This reminds me of high school, Jimmy, except for the guys applauding and the hot-looking chicks. Yeah. This is exactly like high school for me. Yeah, except with another, like, 80 pounds on me, too. Yeah. Well, yeah. welcome to season two of The Man Show. And really, the best news is this isn't a rerun. And to the many critics who said the show was juvenile, moronic, obscene, etc., etc., well, you're absolutely right. But turns out people like that, right? Yeah. <laughs> I want to say that we're not resting on our laurels. No, except for right now. Let's see yeah, now, Jimmy. I'm tired from standing. By the way, our audience looks scarier this year. Yeah. I don't know if you've noticed that. Yeah. Wow, look at this guy right here. Yeah. Look at that. There you go. All right, we uh, did a lot of meetings. We did a lot of research. That's right. Uh, Jimmy and I did some soul searching. Mm -hmm. We also searched our underpants, and we found out what most of you guys want most is more Juggies. Yeah. And uh, with that in mind, I want to introduce you to our uh, newest Juggies, the Twin Juggies, everybody. Yeah. Hey, let's get right to it and learn a little more about Shawnee and Julie, our newest pair of jugs, in this Get to Know Your Juggies. It's time to double your pleasure with the newest members of our Juggy Dance Squad from Liberty, Kentucky, the Costello Twins. I'm Julie. And I'm Shawnee. Needless to say, these ladies have a lot in common. We both went to Lansing Wilson College, we both had a 3.5 grade point average, and we both played on the basketball team. And we both had the same parents. That's not to say there aren't differences between this top-heavy twosome. She's got a Jack Russell Terrier named Scooby, but her Jack Russell Terrier's name's Bailey. That's, That's how you can tell us apart. <laughs> and there's one other big difference between these chesty chicks. Well, Julie really likes helping people and is good, whereas I'm inherently evil. <laughs> That's Shawnee. Good or evil, Julie and Shawnee Costello show us that Juggy twins are twice as nice. This show gets more juggerific every year. Coming up, household hints from adult film stars, and we go to wrestling school. Twins, 
Show us your twins. Hi, I'm Kobe Tai. You may have seen me in executions on butt row. Today, I'm going to show you how to pack everything that you need for a vacation into one suitcase. First of all, remember to roll your clothes. Don't fold. That way, they take up less space and they don't get wrinkles. Set aside your bulkiest items to wear on the plane. That will also save you some room. Oops, I'm overstuffed. If you get yourself into a situation like this, try putting some pressure on the top. This one's tough. Well, now you've got a difficult decision. One of the items that you've packed is gonna have to stay behind. Cedric. Damn, baby. There, packed and ready to go. Bon voyage. Now get on over here and let's pack us some fudge. Welcome back. Uh, you know, we were reading Time Magazine and uh, we saw this article about this professional wrestling school in San Bernardino called the School of Hard Knocks. Uh, actually, we weren't reading uh, Time Magazine. Someone yeah, just tore out yeah. the article for us All and right. read it to us, but <laughs> we heard about it. Yes, and this place teaches overweight men like myself to become big-time professional wrestlers. It is a real place. We visited. Check it out. You think this is the place? You bet your vagina it is. Well, let's go. Hi, fellas. How are you? How are you? Yeah. We're here to become professional wrestlers. You guys watch now. Beautiful. That's a pro wrestler, John. Oh, all right. Yeah. Beautiful. Hey, he's not a horse. Hey, hey. He's hey. not a It's gonna get any better than this. You know, the only thing missing from you two is a persona. A persona? Yeah. Yeah, That's I some ideas. like a Good persona. Ideas. The rabbi! You want I should kick your ass? No! The alcoholic father. Boy! The male flight attendant. The Pope. Flapjack! I'm part of a complete breakfast. <laughs> the drummer from White Snake. <laughs> the calligrapher. <laughs> and Ostrich Sam. <laughs> Capacity crowd on hand for this tag team extravaganza. We've got ourselves a doozy. The sack starts off with some unorthodox bouncing. And now he's running away like a punk. I'm gonna get you! Ah, don't get me! Ooh, a vicious clothesline! And Sack gets a taste of the boot. Tag is made, now it's Billy D and the calligrapher. Hey and the calligrapher shows surprising agility. Oh, that's got a smart. Hey, you don't feel so good, can you? Get this out of here! Oh, you don't do that to another man's hat. Uh, Billy D applies at Boston Crab and what's this? Ostrich Sack has a steel chair! <laughs> oh, and now I 
I've seen it all. Get him, get him. You get him. Now everyone's getting into the act. It's pandemonium. <laughs> We learned a lot today. We learned how to hit. We learned how to get hit. But most of all, we learned when you crush the T5 vertebrae, you lose all feeling in your penis. Watch. <laughs> Nothing. We're going to miss you guys. Thanks for everything. Bye, fellas. Bye. 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 Definitely gay. Oh, yeah. Stay right there on your knees. Yes, that's wonderful. Keep up the good work. Yes, yes. <laughs> Welcome to the Man Show Laboratory. It's a brand new season. And that means a brand new crop of manovations. Inventions created by man for man. And we begin tonight with a simple question. Wouldn't it be great to fart on Whoopi Goldberg's face? <laughs> it, would, it would be the greatest thing since pizza. But how, Adam? How would one ever get the opportunity to fart in that Oscar-winning actress's face? That is fine acting, Jimmy. Thank you. With this... The Whoopi Cushion. You simply inflate, you put it on the chair, and go ahead and blast away. There you go. It's, uh, it's really the only time she's ever made me laugh, Jimmy. <laughs> That's good. That's going to make our next Hollywood Squares appearance comfortable. Yeah, it's going to be right. tense. Ingenious, but I think I may have you beat. Can we get a close-up of my ass, please? Now, Adam, what are your two favorite things in the whole world? Uh, let's see. Uh, classical music mm -hmm. and lighting my own gas. That's right, but to light gas, you have to have fire, and there's not always a lighter around, is sure, there? Sure, no. With this, though, no lighter necessary. This is the pants pilot. Look at that. It's a simple pilot light that is always ready when you are. Can we dim the lights? All right. This is great. Dim the lights. <laughs> All right. <Ooh>. Nice. <laughs> Jimmy, do you realize if you had this device 500 years ago, you could have ruled the world? Absolutely. <laughs> Every day is like the 4th of July. Yes, and Jimmy's it is. ass is in town. All, All right. right. Let's get serious for a minute. Yes. That was stupid. Unwanted pregnancies are always unwanted, aren't they? I'll say. But who can blame a woman for forgetting to take her birth control pill? What with the hectic schedule? I mean, you got the nail appointments, the home shopping channel. It's hard to keep everything straight, Jimmy. Seems to me we should take some responsibility, though, and right. help them remember. And remember they will with these. Birth control bonbons. <laughs> with birth control pills wrapped in nougat and dipped in chocolate. Look at that. Every day of the week. These are delicious. Oh, Jimmy, your breasts are going to get larger. <laughs> I don't think that's possible. <laughs> she won't forget to take these. You know, women may love babies, but they love chocolate more. Oh, yeah. I can feel my fallopian tube sealing up right now. <laughs> Our next manovation is for the guys who enjoy their leisure time. Guys like Adam and I. That's right. Let me just hop up on the demo table yes, yeah, here, yeah, Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Adam. Uh, All anyone right, who's ever known a man or actually been a this man. This looks bad, by the way. <laughs> yeah, it really does. <laughs> Any guy knows that you, you spill a lot of stuff on your belly, don't you, fellas? All uh, sorts I, of things. I know I go through two, three rolls of paper towels a week just lying around daydreaming. <laughs> That's right. Hey, Adam, how about a vanilla shake? Oh, Wouldn't that be it. delicious Sounds right delightful. now? Whoops! Oh, Whoa! That wow. is disgusting. Oh, that is so... That is worse than any movie I've ever seen. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, that's a shame. Oh. Let me get you some paper towels. Wait a minute, Jimmy, hold on. Hold on, 
there's no paper towels. No, Forget that. There's no need for paper towels. Why, Adam? Not with the belly Zamboni. <laughs> <laughs> Turns cleanup time into triple overtime. Finally, hockey technology comes to the stomach. And our final man of Asian comes from our overwhelming concern for the environment. Did you know it takes 10 acres of farmland and more than 80,000 gallons of water to make one cotton t-shirt? It does? No, but recycling is vital to the future of our planet. And with that said, feast your eyes on this. Oh, this yeah. is the heirloom. Nice. Now you can make your very own clothing using Earth's most abundant renewable resource, body hair. Beautiful, did you make huh? something? Yes, I did, Adam. Glad you asked. <laughs> I made some earmuffs out of my chest hair. That is nice. I'm Princess Leia. And let's see what we made out of Jimmy's back hair. Yeah, let's have a look at that, shall we? Oh! oh. Feels like cashmere. Smells like Armenian. <laughs> but the heirloom isn't just for winter wear. You'll be the coolest chick in the pool in this real hair bikini. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that is nice. I may have to break out the Zamboni again, fellas. <laughs> Don't spill any more shake. Those are Man of Asians. We'll be right back. Before that, though, take a look at this. Great moments in nature. Yeah. yeah. You ready for a hot stud, baby? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you like that? Yeah. Yeah, you want to go all night? Yes. Yeah. You... Oh, 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 oh. Sorry. Fox Ziggy Saki. Ziggy Saki, Ziggy Saki, oh, oh, oh. Ziggy Saki, Ziggy Saki, oh, oh. Who is not with us tonight? He's uh, he's pretty sick, and uh, you know, we uh, we wish him the best. All right, let me collect I, myself. <laughs> <laughs> we have some uh, questions from our studio audience. Juan Herrera, where are you, Juan? Juan? Hey, Juan. All right, there's Juan. Juan asks, should I wax or pluck my ass hairs? <laughs> I don't know what to do there, Jimmy. Why, Juan? Is your boyfriend complaining it's too furry? <laughs> Please. No, he's not complaining. He's right. <laughs> <laughs> no, Juan, that's what God gave you. No, I, I, I'll do it once a year uh, during the uh, summer, you know, when yeah. the Santa Anas kick in. I'll get a note from the fire department to clear my ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Andrew Jones, where's Andrew? <laughs> Andrew asks, how much does Jimmy weigh? Oh. <laughs> Thanks, smartass. Uh, <laughs> well, what, what people don't know about my partner, Jimmy, from looking at him, especially with his shirt off, mm -hmm. is he's 170 pounds of rippling steel. Mm -hmm. the, the problem is, is he weighs 225. <laughs> and, uh, so there's another 55 pounds of jello there somewhere. Right. <laughs> but underneath that, he's cut like a washboard. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, I am. Our last question comes from Shayna Brandos. Shayna Brandos. Ooh, Shayna Brandos. Shayna asks, why do guys find it necessary to put their hands on top of the girl's head when pleasing them orally? It, uh, well, I always wanted to know. Yeah. It, it stops them from applauding. <laughs> To our friend the fox of Ziggy Saki, everybody. Ziggy Saki, Ziggy Saki, Ziggy Saki, Ziggy Saki, 
Good night, everybody. Yeah.